guys welcome back to our channel so today um i'm going to be doing three different drawings that you can do when you're at home and you're just feeling really really bored and have nothing else to do so hopefully um please watch until the end and please if you liked it please drop down a like also, this video is inspired by at artsagram underscore zero nine. So please go ahead and check her out. Please subscribe to her. And also, hopefully, if you'd like, please subscribe to us. Um, so without further ado, let's just start this video. Okay, guys. So the first um, thing that I made was a muffin um i don't know why but i just decided to make this so um hopefully you guys like it i started out with this geometrical shape because that's what the base kind of i guess wanted my muffin to look like um so yeah Now I'm just going to be erasing the sides so that um, my muffin kind of has a more muffin shape, I guess. Um, so yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to be basically making like the um, wrapper, I guess, of the muffin because most muff muffins are normally wrapped or have like a wrapped shape at the bottom. So, yeah. Okay, and so now that that's done, I'm just gonna kind of shade it in so that it kind of has a more realistic, like, like the muffin looks more realistic. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to be taking my color pencils and I'm going to be taking the color brown because um, I think that it's a good color for the wrapper. So now I'm just going to be kind of coloring over my sketch. Um, Okay, so next I'm going to be doing the top part of the muffin. So I'm just basically going to start by kind of outlining, I guess, the outside of a muff the muffin to give it a more 3D-ish shape. Okay, so now I'm just going to be coloring in the top part of the muffin with my orange color pencil. So. Okay, so now I'm just going to be making like lines in the muffin to give it a more a realistic top part. Now I'm going to be using brown to just kind of 
shaded in slightly to give it a more like baked look so that it looks more like an actual muffin um hey guys so now i just outlined the like muffin so that it gives a shadow and let's get on with the next thing now i'm gonna be making a pumpkin um i don't think the pumpkin turned out as good as i wanted it to but hopefully you guys like it Okay guys, so I'm just gonna be starting out with making like the top sprout, I guess, of a muffin. Um, now I'm just gonna make a circular shape. I made it before, as you can see, but I erased it because I realized I wasn't recording. So, yeah. Because I'm going to be making like the lines in a pumpkin to make it give a more realistic look. Now that that's done, I'm going to use my orange color pencil to just color in the pumpkin. Okay guys, so this next part, I don't think I should have done because it kind of ruined the pumpkin drawing. So when you're drawing your pumpkin, preferably don't do this next part that I'm doing. I just decided to, with my um, normal pencil, just to kind of make, give it a more of a shape from um, like kind of um, shading in the bottom and top of it. But that did not work, so my pumpkin kind of turned out of a fail. But if you guys decide to make this pumpkin, don't um, use the um, you don't use a normal pencil to like kind of shade in the top part. Um, but you know. Okay, next you guys should use a white color pencil like I did just to color in like each of the sections, I guess, of a pumpkin. It kind of gives it a more realistic look. Hopefully yours turns out better than mine did. Um, now I'm going to be coloring the top part of my pumpkin with my yellow-green color pencil. Um, I also realized that I didn't make any leaves, and normally pumpkins do have leaves, so I just decided to also make leaves for my pumpkin. finally looks so um i do know i filmed but hopefully you guys like my last thing i made okay so lastly i made a ghost sorry that i wrote ghost upside down when i was filming the camera was upside down and i didn't realize that so i'm really sorry but um i hope you like um my ghost So first, I started out with drawing like a kind of ovalish circle, I would say. I don't know what you call it, but I started drawing something like that. Then I started drawing like a skirt kind of, or like how the end of a ghost I imagine would look like. Then I just simply erased the circle like line and then just made it. And so now it starts to look like an actual ghost, I guess. Um, 
Now I'm just going to outline the side. You should preferably do this because that will give it more of a like shadowish. So it'll look like the ghost is actually floating and I think it makes the ghost look more realistic. Okay, so now that's done, I'm just going to be drawing the eyes of the ghost. Next, I'm going to be using my white color pencil. Um, you guys should, you don't have to do this step, but I think you personally should because it kind of doesn't make the ghost any wider and stuff. But if you do it on the sides, it slightly smudges with the pencil and gives the ghost a more realistic look, look as if it's actually floating and it looks more like a ghost in my opinion. Now I'm going to be using my black color pencil. I'm just going to be using it to kind of make this line, I guess, in the ghost. Um, before and kind of just outline the ghost to make it look more real, I guess. Right now, this line thing I'm making in the ghost doesn't look that good in it, but you should um, like kind of smudge it I guess to give the ghost more realistic look um, you guys don't have to make this extra line thing and smudge and stuff if you don't want to but if you do you can the only thing is that I'll make your ghosts give a it'll give your ghost a slightly grayish tint so mine turned out a bit more gray than I wanted it to but I think that's fine because in the end, I think my ghost looks pretty real. So yeah. Okay, so this is how my ghost looks in the end. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you liked my ghost. Um, if you did like this video and the drawings I did, please make sure to like this video and please subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!